My name is Elijah Ranch. I am 21 years old and I am a motivational speaker. What I love about doing sport is getting out there and feel that sense of being alive. We just used to call him Forrest because he ran. He absolutely just loved any type of sport. He was training for running five days a week, as well as basketball and jiu-jitsu, and then wanted to chuck tennis in there as well. We were just like, mate, you gotta, you gotta pull back. In November 2015, I went skydiving. As soon as you see them, and they're actually coming down, you have this sense of relief of, okay, all is good. The chute opened fine. Elijah and I were calling to each other, and then out of the blue, just this gust of wind came and it um, got trapped in the parachute and brought them down. We didn't land like normal people land when skydiving. When they, when they called for an ambulance and then they called for a chopper, that's when you knew it was really bad. Tony was the skydiving instructor. He um, positioned himself to take all the impact so that I had a chance of surviving. We were told that our boy was really, really unwell. And that was sort of the extent. They tried to slowly pull him out of the coma, but he um, wasn't responding very well. The accident was at the end of November. He really just started to wake up in about April. Our houses had to be modified. Um, our careers obviously were changed a bit as well, or just everything is different, but it's our new normal. A week after the accident, my dad, um, in his emotional state, decided that he would run every day until I am back walking. Jose did a lot of whispering into his ear. He'd always tell him the basketball scores as well. And prior to the accident, Elijah challenged himself to run every day for a year. Jose decided that he would run every day until Elijah was walking. And he has continued to do so. Just quietly. I didn't think he thought it would be this long. He still hates running. When I came out of the coma, I had to relearn how to do everything again. Rehab is just like a big game of chess. I always think that there's stuff to improve. It's a game that will take the rest of my life. His physio said, you know what? I think Elijah's ready to start doing something else, like maybe Pilates or yoga. And I kind of went, whoa, I hang about. If he's ready to do that, what do you think about BJJ? It's good for Elijah because a lot of the stuff is done on the ground. And for, for someone who's, you know, learning how to rewalk again, uh, it's perfect. I love training with my dad on the mat because it, it gives me an opportunity to choke him out and make him suffer. This is a kid in a wheelchair, yet he's still managing to, to beat me up, so to speak. One, one night we were training and I was just going to town on my dad. The next morning he woke up and he had bruises all over his chest area. Yeah, he holds his own. I remember when he first came in, he was in his wheelchair with his with the back hunched over to now he's standing up straighter than ever, walking up by himself without any assistance. So I wanted to push him in the city to surf so he knew what it would be like to uh, cross the line again. We have made a commitment to run the city to surf each year together. So the NDIA funded him, which is part of occupational therapy, which is finding and keeping a job. We were referred to a company called the Rehabilitation Specialist. Two years ago, we employed Elijah as our happiness ambassador and social media coordinator. Elijah was actually a client of ours, and every time he came in, he just lifted the, the spirits of the team. 
as the social media coordinator, I guess one of the challenges I'm always in that space is having people in the team voluntarily want to be on social media. And Elijah just has this energy about him that makes people want to take part in these activities. That was just, you know, Elijah just being Elijah and them creating a job for him. He was just the perfect fit for our workplace. I think the happiness that he brings just seems to rub off on everyone else and everyone seems to have a good day once they've had engagement with Elijah. In my free time, I like to do motivational speaking. It does make me feel very proud of myself because I can see that what I'm saying is getting through to people and that I'm leaving an impression on them. He's been invited on a number of occasions to, to speak in front of crowds. And I guess after the first couple, he kind of realised he, he liked it, gave him a sense of purpose. Um, he felt proud that, that he was able to, to help people out. I'm a young man with a severe traumatic brain injury. And I would like to tell you about how I got to where I am. My goal every time I go out onto the stage is to make an impact on at least one person in the crowd as a young man that has survived a horrific skydiving accident and he's come out better on the other side. Family and I would be today. His speech on the night had everything. He was articulate, he had a great sense of humour, but he also shared his raw story. He received a standing ovation at the end and he is literally one of the best speakers we've ever had at one of our functions. Elijah is an amazing motivational speaker. He's very passionate about what he speaks about. He's very open about his, his background and what he's been through. And he's very welcoming of other people. It was kind of another way of saying thanks to all the nurses that have helped and progressed me to where I am today. Nurses play an important role in my recovery. We chose Elijah this year because we wanted someone with lived experience and someone who could come and speak about how the nurses have impacted their lives and how nurses have truly made a difference in their life. I think that everyone needs to be given a go. You know, it's yes, it's challenging, but it's so rewarding when you help people. It's not about the disability, but it's about having a role, having your goals, having the ownership of what you're doing day to day and being supported to achieve that. I, I say that we are extremely lucky for a hideously unlucky situation. The doctors hadn't expected him to survive those first 72 hours. He got his year 12 certificate, he's now got a job, he's pursuing motivational speaking, there's nothing that he can't do. Seeing everything he's done from, you know, the day I met him to, to now, just makes me feel good as a personal trainer and as a mate to see those improvements. Tony would be extremely proud of the man that I am aiming to become. I work every day and refuse to give up because I know that he gave me that fighting chance. Go, Woo! I got a new life in general, I should cross that line.